<laughs> and then I need uh, everybody to roll me a constitution saving throw. <laughs> Love to hear that. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> As kid and V hit the ground and get this bump. <laughs> I will say. Also, he was standing the whole. He never sat down. He was kind of standing like you would in a subway, you know. Yep. So even when they said please sit down, he was not sitting down. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, the sudden momentum that you experience is um, shocking to say the least. You, the train you stops so the suddenly. Wind out of him. Yeah, essentially, all of you <laughs> essentially black. Well, you don't like black out, but in the moment that it happens, you're not sure what exactly has happened because you don't remember it because your brain goes to the next step. You're just suddenly standing. The announcement comes on, and next thing you know, everything goes dark. And you all wake up, even Milo, I'm so afraid 10 was not enough to save. <laughs> you all so. wake up on the ground slash strewn across at least 10 feet from where you were last standing. There is a flashing, like erratically flashing light somewhere above you. And all of you have a, like a high-pitched mosquito tone ringing in your ears. He'll give Milo a reach for his bag and get his flashlight and turn it on. Okay. You the... reach... Go ahead. Oh, you reach for your flashlight, turn it on, and you kind of glance around. And, man, this is really weird. Like, it takes you a moment. It looks like the train car... It hasn't been, like, collapsed or anything. But it looks like it's slightly at an angle. Everything has been strewn across. Um, a couple of, like, the small vending machines that have been inside the train have tipped over and now there's crap scattered everywhere there was like a couple of bags the businessman um had stored in the overhead compartments and they've been scattered everywhere um so as you kind of flash your flashlight around uh actually i'm gonna move maps Ooh, there's a map <laughs> there is a map oh hell yeah hey look at the time it's so fucking cool so. <laughs> Ow. Flashes the flashlight around. Can I see V and Kid? Yeah, you can see a part of, like, V sticking out. I imagine V is, like, partially under this table over here, and you can just see his, like, legs sticking out, and you recognize <laughs> the legs. Yep. Um, Kid is just over here, kind of, like, sprawled on the floor. You're halfway on a seat, essentially. Are they <laughs> conscious or moving, or neither? I would say with that kind of concept, <laughs> neither of them are moving. Not so much. Okay. He'll head over, and can he see if Kid is alive? Uh, yeah, roll me a medicine check. We are rolling. <laughs> <Fire. Great night. laughs> he kind of, like, reaches down and grab, like, puts a, you know, finger on, two fingers on his neck and tries to just feel a pulse. You try to feel a pulse, and you can feel a pulse, but it's your own. Your head is throbbing, and you kind of have that, like, panicked adrenaline, like, doom, 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 kind of, like, your pat ears. Him. Yeah. Okay, I'll be right back. Hold on. V! I will say with an eighth, like, he's not visibly bleeding or anything. Well, he's, like, bleeding slightly from scratches, but he's not, like, he doesn't look visibly maimed. Okay. <laughs> Check that V day. as well. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you basically, you put your hands on, like, V's neck, and V immediately just slaps it aside and goes, don't touch me. Without okay. waking up. <laughs> okay, you're alive. Okay. Ow. He'll, he'll kind of, like, fall down onto his ass on the floor and just sit there waiting for them to come to consciousness because okay. he has no way to wake them up. Okay. <laughs> He just has his flashlight, just so that he's not sitting in darkness. Okay, while you're there any smelling salts? <laughs> <laughs> I thought Milo had everything. Um, Milo, roll me a perception check while you're sitting. Fourteen. Okay. Um, you're kind of flashing this flashlight around, trying to figure out essentially what's going on. The windows held. The windows are essentially like bulletproof glass because it's a train, so you know they're supposed mm -hmm. to be able to withstand. But you see some severe like 
cracks through some of the other parts of the train. It looks like nothing is, like, crumpled, but from what you can assume, something, the train has hit something, and it is slightly off the rails, and it don't look good because there's no more PA announcements. Mm -hmm. You also think you hear just on the edge of your perception, you think you hear more rumbling, but then it fades away. is mildly unsettling. Uh, <laughs> v, I will say, because technically your constitution modifier is slightly more. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> or, wait. Yeah, because you rolled a 1-2, yeah, you rolled plus 3. So, yeah. um, you will come to consciousness first. Oh. What the hell? Something hit Ow. the train. Are you okay? Don't, if you feel any sharp pains, don't move. If it's a dull kind of everywhere ache, that's that's yeah, just to be expected. Works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then immediately, think... kind of after this, I would say Kid probably comes to consciousness as well. <laughs> you just see like a light pop on his face. He's not really worried. He's used to getting hurt, but he turned his phone on and he's like, ah, another crack. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> <laughs> Still works though, right? He kind of turns and so the lights pointed towards y'all. Well, yeah, it's good. I'm not yeah. well, I, you know, but it hurts. Some robust technology. Okay. Oh. Well, I don't know if we're still alone or what happened. It felt like a Snorlax hit the train. What was that? I don't know. We were in the tunnel. And I'm trying to remember the map. Would he know what mountain we were in? Or what hill were we just like underground, underwater? Roll me a huh. Roll me a quick like history check just for funsies. <laughs> I have no idea where we are. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. You know that this uh this train goes underground. Hmm. Um but you're not sure specifically. Snorlax or Onyx or something big and nasty hit the side of the train, I think it knocked it off the rails, and when you're going that fast, it... ow. I mean, you would think it would just take out whatever hit us, but... Are the Try doors... Like, are the doors of the here openable? Like, if we... Yep. Have you tried it? I No, I was waiting for you guys to wake up. I didn't want to leave, and... <laughs> Have you wake up without me here? Can't move myself. Can't move yourself. Oh no, sorry. Give me one sec. <laughs> but... I'm stuck. Wait, you... why can't I move you either? Oh, hold on. <laughs> um... Never mind, I'm... <laughs> this is a reveal! <laughs> God damn it. Uh, give me one sec, I'll assign you back to yourself. <laughs> oh yeah, oh right, it's weird. It's not on V, it's like... There we go. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Freedom. Doors? Yeah, let's let's see if we can get get any of these open, see if was other there, people are okay. Yeah. yeah. Was there anybody else in the train? You know that there was other people in the train, but in the specific car, no, there was nobody with you. The businessman had still not come back. The one that was on the mm. phone. Um, kid, you're going over towards the, the left side doors? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you glance through them, and you know that, uh, to the left on the map, you know that that was the front of the train, so that was the direction that you guys were going. Um, mm. you check those first, um, and there are windows on the train doors that lead into the next car. However, as you kind of look through them, it's just dark. And you kind of, like, use your hoodie sleeve to, like, wipe a little bit and peer through. You don't see anything. Um, and, like, roll me, actually, roll me a perception check, kid. Alright. Okay. Um, you peer through here and you're like there's no light source and it's kind of weird and the thing, the thing is reflecting so you actually kind of get really close to the glass and kind of cup your hands around your eyes to cut out any extra light so there's no reflection and you peer through 
and you see rubble. You see rocks. Shit. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> What's what do you say? Are people hurt? You guys, you guys might want to take a look. It's not promising. Oh no. Um well V we tries can. to force the door open. Uh roll me a strength check. <laughs> it's gonna go great. Matt twenty come on. <laughs> nope. You grab the I mean, handle and you're like no. I think the steel probably got jammed. bent. You're not gonna be able to open that. Um did any of the windows crack? Is there is is there like a, a what door did we come in on the side of the train? Um, so the doors are actually like in between. So I don't know okay. if you can kind of imagine it, but when you exit from this car you go into like intermediary space and then there's a door in there and a door okay, in this okay. side as well. Um so the they're wind? like like mm -hmm. Amtrak train cars, not yeah. like the uh, yeah. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Not like subway, yep. where every one of them has like two doors on the sides. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't run off. Try to pull that one too. Granted, he Milo's... Look outside. He just tries to pull it. Pull it open. Milo has like the only source of lights. So... <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's just basically trying to keep the flashlight on whoever is doing anything here, <laughs> and he's playing full support at the moment with the flashlight. Okay, sounds good. V, you get to the other doors and you begin to pull them open, roll me another strength check. <laughs> open! Okay! Okay, okay you, you begin to pull open. This one is not as jammed as the other one. And as you begin to pull it open, uh, for a second, Kid is like, what if there's, you know, earth... Behind that one, too, but actually nothing happens. They kind of actually jam open. Um, it opens about, like, a foot or two, not all the way. It gets stuck. But you can see beyond it that there's actually another train car. And you can see, like, the intermediary space. And you can see that there um, is the doors to the next train car out. Okay, so here's the thing, guys. I, the, the ranger manual says that if you are lost or in an accident, the safest thing is to stay put, stay where you are, and wait for help. Milo? Yes, me? <laughs> We're not staying here. But is it not... I mean, shouldn't we wait? Shouldn't, something like this, they're no, gonna send I'm not help, right? Like actual, we don't even have any food! I have food. I brought... He kind of holds out like a granola bar. I have granola bars. How, how many <laughs> granola bars do you have? I don't Six. think that's enough. So, like, a day's worth. Yeah. I did... I'm sure they'll be here soon. I mean, what about air? Well, I mean, the train kind of broke, which means air is going to get in from the outside where there's air. Right? But we're in a <laughs> tunnel. True. I mean, air goes underground. It's just probably be stale. But with a train running through, it would always be bringing in fresh air. Unless the train is trapped in the tunnel. Like we are right now. Hey, I just wanted to. I mean, like, I don't think I'd, I've ever stopped you, V. I just wanted to let you know what the manual said. I'm, I'm with you either way. <laughs> Your manual is right, like, 75% of the time. But that's not 100. What does the manual say about cave ins? Cave ins? Um, stay put, wait for help. I'm sure, it has. No? What? It's literally, that's what it says. If you're in a disaster, the safest thing is to stay where you are and wait for help. Because if you move, people are going to go towards where the disaster happened. And if you leave it, then they won't be able to find you. Through the right. open right. doors. <laughs> that... We can go <laughs> a little bit. We can put eyes on what's happening, right? I would say through the open doors uh, that V has kind of just pulled open, those two feet, you hear that same low rumbling in the distance and what sounds like a... Oh. It's very far still, but you all definitely notice it. Okay, maybe whatever we shouldn't that... stay put. Yeah, no, let's leave, because whatever okay. that thing just did again, um, okay. or it's going to drop rocks on this car now. Yeah, and I think yeah. I don't want to be here. I hear you. I hear you. I'm already already pushing my way through. Okay, mm -hmm. roll me another straight. So as you guys go towards like that intermediary area and into the next train car, go ahead and roll me. Uh, whoever's pushing the door, roll me a strength check, and somebody roll me a perception check. It can be anybody. 
I'll roll the strength as I went through the door first. Okay. Although, oh, oh wow! Oh, yeah. There you go. Okay. I'll look. I'll look around behind me then. Okay, you glance around behind right. you. Um, the cart that you have just left seems undisturbed, but then as you glance towards the front through the doors that uh, Milo is pulling open, you notice that it opens up into what appears to be like a storage cart. And I'm just going to go ahead and reveal it. Uh, you also know that as you go through this intermediary area, you see that this part, sorry, I'm going to click on it, this part of the train where the exit door usually would be, also appears to have, like, that window has been smashed and, like, a giant boulder has been pushed through it. Wait. Not ideal? Yeah, not great. Also, um, uh, you said the, the businessman guy, his mm -hmm. luggage was still in this cart? Yep. Can I look through it? <laughs> Yeah, you know what, if you want, but is Milo shining the flashlight over there, or do you have something else? <laughs> uh, I have a something. What do I have? Yeah, he would have had the flashlight, Milo would have had the flashlight and, like, put it in his mouth when he pulled the door open mm -hmm. to illuminate this, like, intermediary area. Can I use my phone? Yeah, you can. It's not going to be great, but it'll be something. Yeah. Go ahead and roll an investigation with disadvantage, because it's only, like, a phone. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. Well, Milo's not Milo. V is looting. In this crisis situation, you went from zero to loot almost immediately. I could appreciate. I mean, yes. I mean, you do need things. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You go to the uh, nearest briefcase, which is already popped open, making it easier for you, and you kind of go through it, and it's all like insurance papers. And you're like, "This is fucking useless." <laughs> Yeet. No. So you presumably turn around and run back to the others? It's up to you. Yeah, I just, uh, hopefully they don't get too far away. Okay. Um, I'm going to wait for Kate to get back to describe what you find in the next cart. <laughs> you want to be a Pokemon trainer? Well... You're gonna get crushed by rocks. Look, I needed like a little introduction <laughs> to make it interesting. Hell yeah. I'm excited. I don't know what's happening. And we both rolled a one on that conch. <laughs> right. I, he was also holding his breath, so I figured he just like literally got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> you started breathing after you passed out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um Oh no, that five. <laughs> yeah, it's not great. Found a bunch of uh, insurance right. papers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, you. Twice. Can we take this trainer license? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't find any trainer's licenses. To make it clear, most people like. Um, keep them on themselves. Them, yeah, they keep them on. <laughs> their person uh but yeah you go into the next train car um and just like you know uh theater of mind stuff uh <laughs> stuff you see what appears to have been a like cart that was used to transport things more so it's like the very back cart so you got into the train and you were in the penultimate cart this stuff has like boxes and um, things on shelves, which those shelves have been knocked over. You also see uh, quite like four Pokeballs essentially just rolling around that presumably used to sit on a shelf um, that have a little label. They are not red topped Pokeballs like you're used to seeing, um, but they all look pretty beat up and old. Um, they're all kind of like unpolished silver. And they all have stamped into them the railroad symbol um, of the railroad company that you're on. Um, but other than that, you see that this train uh, cart has sustained a little bit more damage. And it looks like, because of the fact that it was like the last one, um, the back end of it has actually kind of split open when it tipped. And this one is tipped a little bit further. Um, and as you step into this, uh, as you step into this train, do you do anything else into this car, rather? Um. I mean, he wants to check out what those Pokeballs are. Like okay. 100%. 
Um, but he would do it carefully to see if, like, shifting the weight into the car causes any anything to come unstable. Mm -hmm. So he's he's entering cautiously, but then once it seems to hold, then he'll go and gather up the Pokeballs and kind okay. of bring them back to this room. Yep. You go and gather up the Pokeballs. Uh, you find four of them immediately. They all look pretty identical except for... No, I guess they would be labeled. No, they are labeled. Um... Hmm. The labels um, are stamped. Well, no. It's a little sticker. It's a little sticker on mm -hmm. the side of the bowl. And it mm -hmm. just says um, S. The other one says P. Another one says M. And the last one says E. And you're just holding these Pokeballs in your hands. And you hear once again from the distance. But eerily closer. <sighs> Milo, what are those? I don't know. They were in that room, but it looked like that that car was gonna. It def we we somebody's looking out for us. We got really lucky. And suddenly, the car begins to shake. As the back end of it, you see movement. And as you all glance up from looking at the pokeballs, you see a giant. At first, you think it's a boulder. And suddenly you realize that the boulder has eyes as something gigantic slithers into the back of the car and glares directly at you. Would anybody like Shit. to roll a poke knowledge check, which uh, yeah. would be <laughs> an arcana, the equivalent of arcana? Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Milo. Yeah. Milo, you know immediately that this is an onyx. And I'm going to transfer you to the next map. Onyx. Oh no. Um. Oh give me, boy. give me one of those. Yeah, here. And he'll hand, he'll just give one each to, <laughs> to being kid, randomly. <laughs> okay, who's taking which one? Let's see. I will give the M Pokeball to V. Okay. And the P Pokeball to kid. And then he'll roll with the S Pokeball. So M to V? Yep, M yep. to V. Okay. Kid has <laughs> P. Kid has P. And then Milo with S. <laughs> no, Onyx, Onyx! <laughs> well, these are railroad Pokemon, they have to be useful for something. I hope. <laughs> what exactly is a railroad Pokemon? All right. Well, they've they, got stuff on the railroad to for like emergency situations, right? Like this. To perform repairs or to bend things. I mean, it's just whatever Pokemon would be useful here on a train. Uh, maybe. Uh, no good idea. Good enough, and and Veal throw his. Okay. Excellent. Um, in which case, uh, this is what happens. So you all throw the Pokeballs. Immediately, here's what pops out. Uh, v, you throw yours, and you see a Hulkling figure appear uh, in front of you. A Machoke oh. rolls out of the Pokeball. Good. Immediately flexes and kind of like glances around and seems a little bit confused, but spots the Onyx and gets into like a defensive position automatically. Kid? Um, out of yours rolls uh, what looks to be quite like an older, um, and you would know this because of your like experience with Pokemon, quite an older uh, Poliwhirl. Um, so cute. And Milo, <laughs> out of yours uh, is a tight ball of needles, which pauses and then unfurls into a sand slash. Oh, hell yeah. Hell. If you guys click Alt on that Pokemon, you should be able to open it up and control its stat sheet. Woo! Hell yeah! So, while I get music figured out, we're gonna roll initiative pretty soon here. And we roll it from the characters. You should be able to. You should be able to roll initiative. Yes. Yeah, it's just based on your yeah. character. Yep. Yeah. Um, I lost on. control of my character again. No! <laughs> it's a different token, so this one needs to get remapped again. <laughs> I want one. Want one. New, 
new campaign who dis. Yeah, new campaign who dis. There we go. Oh no, oh, kid. Powerful. <laughs> yes. Powerful. Equally. Wow. <laughs> this is my third one already. Yeah. Doing great. Alright. It is very quiet. Sorry. Mm-hmm. I don't want to. It's, it's such great art, and we're going to get ourselves killed before we do anything <laughs> with them. <laughs> <laughs> Eaten by an onyx, man. All right, that's everybody, fine. We got a water type. Everybody can control the. Um, everybody can control their own Pokemon. Do you <laughs> are you able to navigate to their attacks and see what they are? Yes, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Oh, why is Do it we just story? have to manually keep track of the PP? Uh, yes. Unfortunately, that is the case. Oh, I want a battle theme, but it kind of resets in a weird. Yeah, it's only like a twenty-second loop. It's weird. Yeah, I'm going to do the other one. There we go. Alright. And I'm going to open up Onyx, and oh, I just found out that apparently, if you are on... No, oh, that's fine. Sorry, give me one sec. I also now have to deal with my own... <laughs> God damn it, OBS. Okay, fine. OBS doesn't let me remove the window to, like... A different screen, my different monitor, because it's recording. Mm. But that's fine. Um, let's <laughs> roll initiative, which the Sonics is going to do because it's a wild Pokemon and it's not. Okay. And then uh, also out of the stuff that we chose to start with, uh, mm-hmm. do we have everything like that we got? Um, I would say, for the most part, yes. Okay, do we have like any potions, Pokeballs, any of that stuff? I would say you don't have Pokeballs yet. Okay. Well, no, yeah, you wouldn't, unless you can come up with a story reason for having Pokeballs, I would allow it. But... (laughs) <laughs> you have to convince me. Oh no, the Onyx goes first. <laughs> yeah, the Onyx ah. got, <laughs> got the highest Shut initiative. Alright, uh, the Onyx has a speed of 30. It doesn't look happy. It does not look happy. <laughs> ah, stop dragging around. Sorry, give me one sec. I have to actually show it. So it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And it stops just right there, um, because there is definitely a hole in the floor here, but it advances as soon as it sees you pop out your Pokemon and just roars again. It looks pissed. (laughs) I would say it looks pissed. (laughs) Go away, bad Onyx. Alright, and that is all it can do because it's basically advancing forward and using double movement. So Milo, it's your turn, what you doing? Sand slash, hit him with a sand attack. Sand okay. slash will run up and sand attack. <laughs> All right, what does sand attack do? There we go. On save. On save. Okay. Kick some sand up out of the fucking train into his <laughs> eyes. <laughs> Hell yeah! Holy fucking shit! That's a twenty-seven. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Cool. Um. <laughs> Uh, I don't think I have anything on bonus action, so that's it. That's my turn. Okay, kid, what are you doing? All right, I'm gonna have Polyworld run up, and I'm gonna tell it the water gunning. Okay. Powerful stuff, Polyworld. You're doing great out there. <laughs> it kind of Polyworld doesn't look like it exactly knows what it's doing. Sasslash at least is like familiar. It hears the attack and it runs out there and it starts. It's interesting. Sorry, I forgot to describe Sasslash, so I'll do that now for you know the sake of that. <laughs> but you're like, there's no sand in here. How is it gonna? But then you see that it begins shaking its scales, its needles essentially, and you see that like sand, fine sand, begins to shake out of its scales. And then it curls into a ball and starts to spin, and all of that sand goes flying at the onyx, but it doesn't seem remotely bothered, unfortunately. <laughs> um, and then you call out the command to the Poliwhirl, and it 
kind of like glances at you and glances back at that. You're getting the sense, kids, that this Poliwhirl is not like an attack Pokemon. It's like for <laughs> washing the train. It's a power <laughs> washer. So it kind of just goes, Hell yeah. And just like spits a little bit, but then just kind of like turns around. It looks it looks panicked. It doesn't <laughs> it doesn't look like it wants to be here necessarily. <laughs> calm down, calm down, little guy. You'll be alright. <laughs> alright. Uh V, it's your turn. What are you doing? Oh boy. Uh get him! We choke! Fuck. Uh, boy, I didn't actually read up on the fighting stuff. I sh really should have. <laughs> That's fine. That's actually part of why I wanted to throw you into battle right now. Yeah. Yeah. Can you still like hold attacks if something comes in within range or no? I believe hold movements are still a thing, from what I yes. remember reading. So yes, it it needs to be triggered by a specific action. So if you want, you can say like. I hold an attack if it comes into range. Yeah. All right. He's just. I'm gonna have him hold a karate chop if it comes within range. Okay. All right. Karate chop. These poor random light utility <laughs> ass. <laughs> right. Save our lives. We're we're merely children. <laughs> All right. Um. Very good. In which case, the onyx does go forward. Um, it looks like it is still angry, and it is going to... Let's see. Yeah, why not? It's going to rush forward. One, two, three, four. Um, and it is going to probably come within range now. What are you holding? A choke. Hit it. Uh, karate chop. Nice. Yes. Machoke is like, I was fucking made public. for this. Yeah. <laughs> public public rolls. Oh yeah, it's not, oh, it's probably on GM. That was a natural on. twenty. <laughs> Hell default. yeah, Machoke. Yeah. yeah. All right. Natural twenty for 13, 14 damage, I think. Fourteen is damage. That a, is that a fighting correct? move? Yes, it is fighting. Yes. I wonder why stab. Oh yeah, stab is fine. Yes, yeah, stab is added. Okay, so that is fourteen. Hell yeah. Okay. Where's my fucking HP counter? Sorry. I'm sure he has like 12 hit points, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah! Easy. Alright, minus 14. It yes. is. Um, Onyx doesn't like this. In fact, hold on, let me double <laughs> check. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. In <laughs> fact, he's it... like, yes, yay, Machoke! And then he looks back down at him and he's like, oh shit. Yeah. It doesn't like this. It looks like it's quite effective, and Machoke's like, hell yeah, I was made for this. It looks like it's enjoying itself quite. But then, like, <laughs> yeah, both you and Machoke look up, and the Onyx just kind of shakes it off and looks down and just goes... <sighs> and it begins to... Yeah, why not? It's going to use Bind. Um... I know. Give me one sec. I should not do the GM. Let's do this. <laughs> That's a Ooh. 25 to hit. Yeah. Ooh, yep. Alright, that is 9 normal damage. Okay. The, uh, make sure to double check yes. resistances or anything else. Uh, let's see. 50 and then minus 9. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Alright. Cool. Oh yeah, I didn't give you guys HP counters, do it, did I? No, but if you just type it into the the yeah. red one. And... My bad. All right, um, you are, I believe, uh, grappled. So on your turn, yes. at the beginning of your turn, you may attempt to escape. Uh, but for the time being, a creature is grappled, and you are going to be essentially in its grasp. Okay. Uh, is it like? IV where you can still attack while you're grappled, or just nothing? Well, let me double check. I mean, most of the, the 5 e rules are the same. Yeah, they're, I believe yeah. they're the same. I have a cheat sheet for myself for conditions here, and yeah. I think if it's not <laughs> it's there, Like, I know how all the 5 e stuff works, but yes. I didn't know what they changed, because I didn't read the book. Not much. It, the, they, they added a bunch, but not nothing like core rules got 
Okay. Change. Yes, yeah. you can still attack. Uh, you're just taking damage now at the top. Um, if you can escape, and you're yeah. moving to okay. zero. Okay. In which case, mm -hmm. Milo, it's your turn. Okay. Sand slash hit him with a crush claw. Okay. Fifteen. Does not <laughs> hit. Oh no. Um. <laughs> So Sandslash rushes forward, and it actually does, like, manage to hit against Onyx, but Onyx doesn't even seem to feel it. Because it just hits against one of part of, like, its rock bodies, and you realize that probably if you're gonna attack, you're gonna have to, like, go for a weak point of some sort. Good try, buddy! <laughs> Guys, we're not in a gym. Do you think we're gonna get in trouble for this? That'll be his turn. Not, not since <laughs> I think we're gonna die! <laughs> yeah, this is the crisis situation. I think all laws are kind of exempt. Okay. I mean, you, V was already looting. <laughs> Wait, I was v, you just did what? looking. <laughs> and I wasn't going to take anything. Every, I just wanted to yeah. As they say, that kid's just like, try another water gun real quick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no! no! <laughs> this Poly poor World. power washer. <laughs> Holly World is just like basically oh, wow. tries to spray water but it ends up missing and it ends up basically falling prone on its ass it's an I'll old old the man e pokeball did you <laughs> <try> this one <laughs> <laughs> what's the e pokeball the the fourth pokeball whatever oh, the yeah. e one that he had in his he hand because he still had the other one and <laughs> oh, he'll yeah. just sort of hold that out with in one hand towards his kid like did you want to try a different one <laughs> no, this is fun. He's doing his best. <laughs> He's doing his best. He's <laughs> <laughs> trying. Um, all right, V, what are you doing? Uh, all right. Uh, Machuke. You're stuck. Uh, kick it. Kick it in the balls. Kick it in the balls. <laughs> Try to low kick. Okay. And miss because wow. he doesn't have balls. Yeah, we roll it's like it. every time, every time Crazy. Earth rolls a one. <laughs> uh, it's we, a we better all get shinies when we get our star. <laughs> <laughs> um, where the ball? Kids kind of like where are the balls on an onyx? Yeah, yeah that's but, what I wanted to ask. Machoke is also no, having the Machoke same problem. Kind of yeah, <laughs> it's it's just like a kicking, but Onyx is holding it kind of away from its body, so it's not able to actually effectively kick anything, and unfortunately just ends up like struggling for a while and panting. And because Shit. it's in that one, just for flavor, it'll be two power points instead of one, but honestly, it's not going to matter. Anymore. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, Alright, uh, Onyx is going to continue to bind. Hold on. Bonus action, do an automatic 1d4 normal damage. Okay. It's only 1d4, so. Yeah. Well, that's a 4. four. So it continues <laughs> to squeeze, and as an action. Squish. Squish. It is also going to. Honestly, yeah, why the fuck not? It looks down at Sand Slash and it is going to use Rock Tomb. Oh no. That's a 15 to hit? <laughs> AC of 16. Ooh, nice! <laughs> so. Get out of the way, Sand Slash! <laughs> Alright, as the rocks suddenly begin to onyx roars and the bottom of the train cart is suddenly like bulges upwards and Sand Slash hearing your words, immediately, like, does a backflip backwards and just keeps rolling. Um, and I'll say just for flavor, it ends up, like, moving over here. To get out of the way. Um. Or not. It doesn't have to be. It's up to no, you. No, 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 no. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Since there's, like, now rocks over here. I don't have rocks, but... Okay, Milo, it's your turn. Uh... Thing. There's another crush claw. Just okay. Keep hitting him. All right. <laughs> wow. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> this sand slash is having trouble as well at this point. It's able to get out of the way effectively enough, but it like keeps on slashing at Onyx's like sides and stuff, and its claws are just not getting through, unfortunately. I think that's it because changing Pokemon's in action, so yes. that's my turn. Okay. Kid, what are you doing? 
just gonna politely coax the poly world to stand <laughs> back up. I know, I know you're old. You're three years <laughs> off the retirement. You're just trying to get through it. But I'm gonna need you to try to hit this water gun, my guy. Okay. He, like, struggles <laughs> to his feet. You see him rubbing his Yay. back. <laughs> yeah. All right. Roll again. Oh, damn. Nice. Yeah. That's a 12 nice. times two. Hell yeah. yeah. Super effective. And immediately, like, as Onyx turns around, glancing at the Poliwhirl, immediately gets a face full of water gun, and just, like, goes, <laughs> Alright. Excellent. This Poliwhirl finally cracks its back and just releases a stream. <laughs> it's back in action. V, Make you're up. Yeah. Alright, try it again. The aim slightly lower this time. Alright, 16 <laughs> will not hit. Oh, no. <laughs> no, lower! <laughs> My joke. Alright, <laughs> unfortunately, it's still kind of like struggling to get out. Onyx yep. is going to glance at the. Yeah, probably glance at the Poliwhirl and is going to try to. No, it's going to go for the Sandslash. Mm -hmm. An automatic 1d4 on. Oh, it does, <laughs> yes. It does. Do an automatic on D4 on the choke with bind. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> it's on it. We were all like, the check all's over here getting max damage. Oh! Oh no. Oh. And the crit. Oh no. Sand slash, no. Sand slash <laughs> takes oh, um, 11, 13 points of damage. Okay, okay. And you're uh, restrained. And you are also restrained. No, you gotta make a thing. You gotta uh, make a strength saving throw. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, strength saving throw. Oh yeah, Six. you don't take the damage. That's a ten. That's a ten. That does not fail. That does not succeed. I mean, so yes, you take the full damage. <laughs> yep. And you're currently in between the sand slash that you see. Finally, those boulders jut up from the ground, and sand slash is kind of between all of them, and you can see it kind of between the, the slices of rock, like looking around and trying to dig its way out. But they're literally rocks on <laughs> sand, so it's just kind of like pressing itself between them. <laughs> Good. For right. sand slash. Um, but it is sand slash's turn. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's got such a. That, that, that minus one's not gonna. Okay. Uh, I guess he'll just try to. He'll use his action to break out of it. Okay. So, try to free yourself, Bed uh, Dog. Oh, no, it's not gonna work. That's a 15. Break, break, break. Oh. Oh. Ah, okay, good try. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, that's better. <laughs> okay. Kid, what are you doing? Okay, well, man, I know the water's working, but those two Pokemon are getting this shit beat out of them. <laughs> They're so lit. Because we're like, why don't you play it a little bit smart and hit them with a hypnosis? Oh. Ooh. Hell yeah. Okay. Hopefully, uh, wise. Ah, uh, wisdom <laughs> saving throw, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let's roll above the table. That's a 16. Aww. Uh -huh. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's mod isn't good. Oh. It was just a good roll. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, right. It looks like it's too angry and it's already getting attacked, so it just kind of shakes it <laughs> too off. Too mad to sleep. Yeah. I feel that like I've been there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good try, though. It was a solid try. All right, V, you're up. Uh... I mean, if it didn't work the first two times, that means it'll work this time. <laughs> Seriously, just just kick. There you go. There we Thank go. you. Oh, yeah. Machoke is getting as pissed as you, and it's. <laughs> yeah. so seven damage. Seven damage. And then he. Let's see. What is it? Make a melee attack. That was one off of the 19. Right. That would've been so fucking good to make that on pitch for. <laughs> yeah, it would've. I know. So close. So close, and yet so far. But you're taking, yeah, you're taking <laughs> a lot of, you're taking the shit out of the Sonic, so it's beginning to look like it's kind of confused between these Pokemon attacking it, and it kind of, like, <laughs> shakes Machoke around. 
like it's shaking like a, a toy essentially and getting angry at it. Um, <laughs> and it is going to actually, you know what it's going to do? <laughs> it's going to use rock throw to throw Machoke. Oh, okay. So instead <laughs> of grabbing a rock and using rock throw, it's just going to hurl Machoke into Poliwhirl. Oh no. <laughs> Poor old man, Poliwhirl, or old woman Poliwhirl. <laughs> Whatever they are, they're going to throw it out here. Uh, that's a 15! <laughs> What's Poliwhirl's AC? Poliwhirl's only got a 14, so that's definitely oh, going yeah. Okay, so I'm going to say that Poliwhirl takes uh, 9... Uh, what damage is it? Rock damage. Well, no, it's normal damage because Machoke is not a rock. <laughs> <laughs> he's as hard as one. Womp. Womp. Even though... Even though it's an old polyworld, it's actually not that. It's not really bothered by that, surprisingly. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna say, also, like now, Machoke also takes eight damage from yeah okay. being tossed. But you're no <laughs> longer <laughs> grappled. Hey, hell yeah! All right, Milo, what are you doing? Well, he's still in the rock tomb. He is. I know what he's gonna do. <laughs> Sand slash, dig your way out. And he's oh, gonna, hey. You just hear crank, 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 and he digs into the train. You gonna fall out the uh, the bottom of the train? It just, it just says he goes underground. But that'll be it, that's next turn. He has to attack. I thought it was gonna link the whole thing, but yeah, he doesn't yeah. get an attack this turn. He just burrows underground. Yeah, he just and he's underground. not there. He's not there. <laughs> okay. okay, kid, what are you doing? Okay, well, let's let's forego the hypnosis and just stick with what you aren't so great at with another water gun. Okay, that's a fifteen. Oh, Unfortunately, yeah, that, yeah. it's a solid water gun. It's a solid water gun. It's just that he has just had a machoke thrown at him, and he looks like he's still a little <laughs> wobbly on his feet. And Onyx just dodges it at the last moment, and it goes right past his head. Right, I'm also gonna have it readjust a little bit to get some cover because. Okay. This old boy's get, getting, a, <laughs> getting fair. a lot of whiff. That is very fair. All right. Yeah, you do have some cover. I would say that is uh, quarter cover. No? Half cover? I don't know. We'll get there when we get there. Uh, V. <laughs> All right. Um... Machoke was laying up flat on its back in the train car, just going like... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sorry, I was trying to look up something. Is it? Can I send you a message? Yep. Okay. You know what? This I'm sure I'll make sense, Trevor. It's unfortunate. <laughs> it just means Dig doesn't have advantage. I wish we like. I wish we had a better idea what its AC was, because we know 16s <laughs> of fifteen, but the hits we've gotten have been twenties. Right. Oh, there's <laughs> such a wide margin of error here. I have no idea what we should be <laughs> expecting. And this this poor Polly world only has like a plus <laughs> on the hit. This poor yeah. Polly world. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hopefully it gets, like, a commendation in early retirement after this. I'm, I, I, I hope so. I'm gonna push for it. <laughs> Let the folly will rest. Alright, sorry, where were we? Oh, he, yeah, that's right. Uh, half, I think it's, like, half movement to get up and then back to, back in there. Uh, let me choke. Alright, push it! And use drink. Okay. You're just gonna push it? You're trying to push it backwards, or what? Uh, with strength, if I hit, uh, I can also choose to push the creature five feet away. Oh, okay. Cool, 18 does hit, so go ahead and roll. Hey, good to know. Now we got a little bit more data. Yeah. You do. Nine uh, normal damage. Okay. And it pushes it five feet back. Five feet back. 
We're gonna take the onyx and put it off somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. Alright. Oh, crap. I didn't... Dig failed. He's not underground. Why? Because <laughs> there's a lie like that says if you're grappled or restrained, it fails. Oh, uh, that would have been cool. I you know what? Read that. Just for this one, because it is <laughs> rock tomb specifically, I will allow it. Okay. Because literally, like, story-wise, he would have been able to dig because the rocks are coming from fucking underground. It's a sand flesh. <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I was yeah, just yeah. reading through it again. I was like, oh, no. All right. <laughs> Push, you're going to take the onyx and put it somewhere else. Okay, it's, it's been put exactly. somewhere else. Get out of here. Okay. Uh, it's his turn. <laughs> <laughs> yep. He just closes that cap again. <laughs> yeah, right. Well... Yeah, no. Orders at us, the little fourteen-year-old kids in the background. <laughs> I like to think that we're just kind of like hiding behind the boxes, the little air conditioning yeah, right. unit, just like you guys got this. Get <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Exactly. Um, it is going to try to use Rock Tomb on the Machoke now because it is. It looks like it's getting kind of harried, and it looks like its range is giving away to exhaustion as it's kind of looking between all three of these mons. But it's going right. to roar again. Yeah, Rock Tomb is 26. Oh, no. Ouch. That is oh, 13 damage. 13. And Machoke is currently fine. stuck <laughs> where it is. Uh, I have a strength saving throw. Uh, it's lucky with that crit damage. Oh. Mm. Nope. Full transparency. The Rock Tomb crit roll is broken. It didn't. It just rolled. It gave plus two for the crit instead of rolling two d eight. Did it crit though? I think the it only that, rolled an eighteen. No, no, the one that hit. Oh, your uh, other right, one. The one that hit Sand Slash earlier. Got it. The roll, the die roll was broken. Oh shit! Okay. So it should be two d eight instead of just two. Oh okay. Because I think. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Where was it? I mean, it did. No, it did. It did the two d eight and then another two d eight. CD8 and then the stab damage, but it doesn't double the stab damage. Oh, okay. I see how it split it up. Yes. Got yes. it. Okay. Yes. My bad. My bad. I, You did roll really, yes. really poorly on that then. Okay. I, did. I, thought, I thought it was, it was like. Two man. Okay, cool. <laughs> Sorry. Nope. You're good. You're good. Um, give me one second. I'm just doing something for my own sake because I want to see your HPs. <laughs> I've right. got it in Sand Slash's red bubble. Yeah, same. Yep. Um, I just wanted to um, bring up like HP bars for myself because I can see it on my mm. side. Okay, um, that was Rock Tomb, so now Machoke is stuck and is looking kind of harried and breathing heavily, but now it's Milo's yeah. turn. Okay. He, uh, Sand Slash will dig his way. Let's see. Oh, the Onyx didn't move. 15. I guess he'll just come up here and then use his dig attack. Okay. Pop up out of the ground. Milo's character sheet. With a 10. A 10? Oh, it's not <laughs> advantage or anything? It okay. wouldn't, it, no, because he has tremor sense, so there's no advantage. Yes, it. it does have tremor sense, sorry. So, so that Onyx, is a 10. <laughs> unfortunately, at the last moment, seems to kind of like turn around, glance down, and slithers even further back, like to the side. Just as Sand Slush pops out. <laughs> That's, let's see, he used, I think he was burrowing. It's 15, 20, can Sand Slash get over to here? Yeah, why not? Just, it runs around to this, like, get to the other side of him. Let's get him looking in two directions. Oh, nice. Fl flag him for advantage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody immediately forgot about advantage. <laughs> All right, kid, you're up. Forget, it just seems hard to get over to the other side. I was going to dig under the onyx and pop up on the other side of it, but you pushed him back, <laughs> and so I didn't come oh. <laughs> 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 All right, well, Hollyworld, take advantage of this distraction. I'm begging you to just hit him. Your, your, your pal over there is looking really hurt. Please. Yay. Yeah. Yeah, Polly World. Begging works really well with Hollyworld, apparently. Hey, and it's actually... One of my things, I actually roll another D12 because of Joe Tobin. Oh, Hell yeah. Damn. Ooh, 
nice. So that there is a go. total of wait, eight, nine, uh, doubled because it's weak. So sixteen plus six is uh, twenty-two. Oof. Okay. Yeah, this onyx takes a fucking water girl right to the face, and it looks like it's beginning <laughs> to shake it off. Um, and it's like kind of got its eyes half closed, and it's looking like it's getting ready to kind of retreat a little bit. It's beginning to look around, glances back at the sand slash, glances at the poly world. All right, uh, V, you're up. All right, all right, Mitchell, get him. And I want him to like run up these boxes and try oh. to sucker punch Onyx in the face. But Choke is still on in Rock Tomb, isn't he? Oh no, he is. Never mind. Yeah, he is. Sorry. Uh, then I guess he's just gonna try to break out. Okay. Because he can't do anything. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Breaks out of Rock right. Tomb. Is that? That's the action to do it, um, and can he move or no? Uh, I think, uh, weirdly enough, it fails. At the beginning of each of its turns, it may attempt to escape with a strength save. So, yeah, I would say you can still do its move. Okay, still gonna get up at this phase. Yeah. Pokemon rules, <laughs> you can break out and, mm -hmm. yeah. Can't get up right, on its Pokemon face! Pokemon does rule. Yeah. Yep. Alright, that's okay. a strength. Uh... Oh wait, that's not strength like strength. That. I keep on confusing like a strength check versus the strength attack. Strength attack. Which... <laughs> uh, Hell yeah. Oh, no. right. And I think that's all he can do because I don't think... I don't I don't know what's a bonus action or anything. Okay. We really don't have much. Yeah, 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 yeah. I figured. There, there are some like quick attack is a bonus action move, but okay. there's mm. not a lot. Um, okay. This onyx is... Hold on a second, I gotta roll something. Yeah. Uh, this onyx begins to shake its head. I need you to roll, because Machoke is on its face currently, right? Tried to. I don't know if he was able to actually get up on roll there, me, but... Roll me a dex check. <laughs> you can do it, Machoke. Stay on. No. Uh, <laughs> Machoke great, but... runs up these side crates, big powerful leaps, and it's heavy, so it's kind of like breaking through the crates and it's jumping <laughs> up. But it grabs onto Onyx's nose ridge, and Onyx pauses for a brief second, and they stare at each other in the <laughs> face, and Onyx just goes, Roar! and like, oh, slams no. its face up into the top of the cart, which is not hard to do because Onyx Ooh. is huge and the car is not that big, yeah. and immediately like, <laughs> flings Machoke off, which he takes like, I'll oh, say, I don't know, 1d6 falling damage. No! <laughs> Choke's gonna get knocked unconscious. Just five. Jeez. Um, but immediately after it does that, um, Onyx actually begins to move back. One, two, three, that's four, five, wait. Hit him Zen slash while he gets away. Yeah, because it's, wait, each of these is five, so it's five, ten, fifteen. Dun, 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 dun. It's trying to move over here. Does Zen slash want to take an attack of opportunity? Yes. Finally. Yeah. Hell yeah. Eight normal, okay. Uh, Sandslash actually manages to jam it between, like, the segments of Onyx's rock body, and Onyx just kind of, like, flinches away from it and continues to run. Alright, Milo, anything you're doing? Get him. <laughs> um, yeah, 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 he's not getting away. Uh, Milo yeah. will jump up on the box. It's trying to escape! <laughs> <laughs> He'll just, uh, he can't actually use all his movement because Sand Slash has to use some, and we share movement. <laughs> and he'll run up here. <laughs> and now he's getting closer within range. He's trying not to let Sand Slash get out of that recall range at 60 foot. Okay. Um, just keep hitting him with your crush claw! <laughs> nope. You, you have advantage because you rolled above a 15. Uh... attack. Your ne oh, if the natural attack roll is 15, your next attack on the same target is rolled with advantage. Oh, yeah. hey. No. You're the base. <laughs> okay. Oh, Unfortunately sad. not. Sad. No, <laughs> even with advantage, he just swings. It's like, it's okay, buddy. That's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
kid, what are you doing? What are you and your um, octogenarian polyworld doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have polyworld run up and just keep doing what you're doing. Get some more water in there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Unfortunately, no, it's too far away at this point, and it is booking it. It is booking it for the exit. He's trying to leave. Uh-oh. Why is my mouse weird? Alright, uh, next is V. Uh, I guess the choke will just try to double dash just to get back in range. Uh... Run at him. You're not getting away. Yep. <laughs> Intimidate him. <laughs> Jump to his boss. Okay, that's. I think that's about it. Okay. Just, just so maybe range. I get one. Okay. Yeah, okay. one more hit on an opportunity attack, maybe. Okay. In which case, yeah, Onyx is full on like running. It's just going one, two, three, four, five. Six. Go ahead and roll. Nice. And twenty-four. Yeah. yeah. And I. Ooh, I might paralyze him. Ooh. I flinched okay. him because I rolled a nineteen. Okay, that's thirteen normal. Okay, and uh, below right here. Right as it leaves range. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hell yeah! Bring, bring that on its back. <laughs> Uh, the target flinches. Oh, okay, it flinches. Yes. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, because I managed to roll a 19. <laughs> nice. Yeah, and the Onyx essentially is going to lose its next turn, but go ahead, Milo. What are you doing? Okay. I mean... Is it hmm. back over here, or did it not flinch until it got all the way over there? Actually, you're you're right. You're right. You're right. I would still be here because of well, what's the flinch condition? Hold on, let me read up on that. I mean, did anyone have any pokeballs to catch it with? Otherwise, maybe we should just let it go home. It destroyed a train. Isn't there some sort of like Pokemon justice system? That's why we'd need a pokeball. We'd need to catch it. Yep. Can't like you have one? Just a system. <laughs> I don't have any. No. The yeah, one let me take any. Did? Do you have any? You kind of rifles through his backpack. Yeah, I have a couple. Okay, Maybe. so actually, the Onyx would be able to move still. It's just it has disadvantage. Ah. So. Okay. Tech roll skill tree stage. I guess we could try to catch it. I think it's too far away though. Cause it, mechanically, you have to be like where Sand Slash is to hit it with a bow. Yeah. <laughs> um, maybe we just let it go home. What if it destroys another train, Lila? I don't know. Milo, Milo suffers in indecision and does nothing on his. Turn. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Sounds good, kid. What are you doing? And slash just looked back at him like, "What? What, what are we doing?" <laughs> Hello. Huh? Is there a distance? What's the distance you gotta be within your Pokemon? Uh, it you can be any distance from them. It's just sixty feet to recall them. Okay. Yeah. All if right. you wanna uh, put them back in the bowl? Gotcha, gotcha. I mean, I'm just gonna tell them like, hop on across, and join them, and you've got range. You might not be able to chase after, but I mean, try another water gun. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, there. And that little slot up against the box and then fires off one last water gun. <laughs> Unfortunately, it does not hit. Yeah. yeah. Poliwhirl kind of like trips up a little bit over this hole and it <laughs> takes its time. So by the time it gets back, it's just kind of too far away at this point. Um, and it is burrowing back out through the back of the train through the hole that it came through. So, V, is there anything else you'd like to do? I mean, he just tells Bachoke to go and punch it one more time. <laughs> Machoke rushes after. Get him, Machoke. 
Ähm. Schon Jürgen! Ja! Oh, ja, nein, ich bin noch Damn! Well damage, fighting damage. Ja. Yeah. Um, oh, critical hit on 90. Okay, ja. Yeah, that'll do it. Um, I will say overworld, like. For the sake of this, when you get a Pokémon down to 0 HP, um. Well, we haven't decided on this, actually. I was going to do it one way, but... <laughs> for now, for now. I mean, I know, I know how I will, but it can mm. be different between the two times. It's fine. For these two, for the sake of this, you've won the battle because the Onyx has... You've whittled it down to its last HP. Do you um, run around looking for a Pokeball in the, in the carriage, then? It actually, like... You see Machoke punching, you see it stop moving, but then weirdly enough, it kind of like, while you're running around looking for a Pokeball, when you glance up, it's already gone. He probably doesn't even notice because he's so focused on looking for a Pokeball. Okay. Sounds good. Come on back, Sand Slash. And he'll recall. Okay. Sounds good. Good job, buddy. We'll do the same for Poliwhirl. See, like he had a hard time out there. Let him get some rest. Okay, Polyworld gets back as well. And he'll put both the sand slash and whatever that other. Eh. I mean, we're here. You might as well. I'm dying. Right. I, I need to know as well. All right. <laughs> Whoever you are, and he'll release whatever's in the e ball. Okay. And then sounds look. good. Oh, Trod. Come on. Hold on. Electabuzz, maybe? Maybe. <laughs> Evie? No. It's randomly in Eevee. No, yeah, you release it and it's an Electro Ball. <laughs> like and kind of like... Oh, yeah. dude. Comes out with its eyes squeezed shut and then it kind of opens one eye like you've disturbed its <laughs> rest a little bit. Kind of scratches the side <laughs> of its face, looks around, looks back at you all. Clearly doesn't recognize any of you. And it's just kind of like... Rah. Can I pet? Um... <laughs> I don't know if that's a good idea, kid. Already but... hands on. Just give him another pat. <laughs> okay. Would you like to roll me just a little bit of a constitution check? <laughs> a check or a save? Save, a save. So, okay. I mean, they're both not great. <laughs> but... <laughs> okay. My uh, electrocution is fine. Give me one sec. Actually, it would be a, from, a roll for me, not you. Nope. Okay. You kind of get a little bit of a weird tingly feeling on your fingertips as you um, kind of rub Electrobuzz's, I'm presuming, head. Hey, he's going to put him on the shoulder. I mean, on the shoulder? Like, yeah, a, bro, just, like just, a bro pat? <laughs> yeah. Does he like... He really likes electric types, so he's always down to see these things. Okay. Yeah, you kind of put like it on the, the shoulder. So, like the buzzes are also cool. <laughs> nice. <Hell> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, you kind of pat it on the shoulder, and you feel that weird, like, staticky feeling, like when you touch one of those old tube TVs, you know? Um, <laughs> that kind of sensation. It doesn't shock you or anything, but Electrobus does give you, it gives you, like, a really weird look, and it kind of pulls back its shoulder for a second and glances at your hand, and glances at its own shoulder, and at your hand and its own shoulder, and it kind of looks... <laughs> It looks confused by what you're doing. Why are you touching me, bro? Find anything good, V? Do I find any Pokeballs? Uh, would you like to roll an investigation check? <laughs> There's one. <laughs> 21. 21. Um... Hmm. Give me one sec. I'm gonna look through something. Dig through trash. They usually leave stuff in there. Yeah, that's pretty much what he's doing. He's like frantically shifting through all the trash and like boxes. And... Whoa! I randomly got a health bar. Yeah, sorry, that was me putting <laughs> it on there for my own. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, peace of mind. 
You find a box of what looks to be like random stuff. Um. Yeah, you know what? On a 21, you find a box and it looks like it contains two, like, how is, what's the best I can, uh, way I can describe it? It looks like a little spritz bottle, but it's square and handheld. It's very small. Um, and it has a little, like, electric symbol on it. Uh, roll me a... Roll me an intelligence check really quick. To see if you recognize what it is. Well. Nope. Oh, either it's my internet or something's cutting out. Sorry, what was that? Uh, 12. 12? Why can't I see it? That's yeah, it didn't cool. roll for me either. Oh, there oh, wait, it is. There's... Mm. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Lagging. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, you recognize these as uh, paralyzed heels. You have two of them. Yeah. Okay. All right, come on back, Electabuzz. Boop. Boop. <sighs> Machoke is still I mean, wandering around because you haven't recalled yeah, it. <laughs> recall him. He's kind of just busy. He, he looks he looks tired. He's like exhausted, kind of like rubbing his shoulders a little bit and glancing around at all of you questioningly as well. But I guess we should probably take them with us. Right? If we just leave them here. Yeah, who else are we supposed to give them back to? I mean, I presume whoever runs the train. They probably belong to the train company, right? Did it, aren't they like silver? Aren't they different from like regular Pokeballs? Mm-hmm. They are, they yeah. Look like, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, they just look like unpolished metal. Sure, but I mean, I guess I don't know. We could return them to the railroad in general, but I think everybody else on the train railroad here is dead. Yeah, we just probably we're gonna have to move, probably backtrack or see if we can find a way around because there was a cave in up front where the onyx rock slided. You know, yeah. on the train. Yeah. There's Can like I a giant it? hole down here, but that's it. Can I shine my flashlight through this hole in the wall and see if yeah. anything is on the other side? Yeah, for sure. Um, you shine your flashlight through this hole because um, the windows here are all boarded up, and you see that this actually opens up. You kind of were full of adrenaline and you were focused on other things, but you realize now that there's a soft breeze coming in through here. And go ahead and roll me a perception check. Perception. <laughs> yes. Even yeah. for that, like for free, I was more looking to see like what else you would find. But you, as you shine your light, it reveals to you what looks to be like a cave tunnel, like you know, like the one that the train moves through. Um, the walls are relatively high up here, um, and it looks like it's been carved out by you know obviously the railroad company when they built the tracks through here. But it looks like you can you know squeeze out of this hole and start walking. We could get out of the car over here. There's a cave. I'm sure if we just follow the railroad track, eventually it'll lead where we're going. Okay. How far through the journey were we before this happened? I will take Milo's word for it, and I will say you were about, <laughs> yeah, you were about like 15, 20 minutes from Viridian. Okay. Because, <laughs> so. like, why not? <laughs> What does what the guy say about, you know, using Stranger's Pokemon to fight a giant onyx? Kind of like takes this is okay very old and battered book out of his backpack <laughs> just, or bag, starts flipping through. Oh, not in here. That's a new one, but uh, I'll, I'll write some notes when I get home and maybe I can send a revision. Alright. <laughs> before, before we leave out that way, can I look down this way and is it just like a drop off or uh go ahead and roll me a perception check as well since you don't really have a light except for your phone <laughs> i think i have a lantern that he can he can light the lantern just okay. to see i think it's uh, a pair of electric lanterns in this yeah uses the so i have batteries spell. so yeah okay yeah go ahead and roll two um, <laughs> it looks... We're doing great. We yeah. are really f kids out here, huh? I mean, yep. you are all level one, so, like... <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, yeah, you look out the back of this and, I mean, you see a lot of rocks where the onyx came through and you see just darkness, essentially. It looks like this part of the car has kind of, like, tipped over a little bit. So it's not exactly like you know what you're looking at. You could go also, out standing, there, but... Uh, standing here, do, does my phone have any service? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you pull it out and you not, e not even emergency services. <laughs> zero zero no bars. bars. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm gonna you said it drops down on the other side? A little bit because it's like a hole in the middle of the train, so you'll have to pop down about like yeah, I don't know, like four or five feet. Okay. He won't worry about getting rope then, but he'll <laughs> climb through and yeah. flop down onto the Okay. Pave floor. Yeah. You basically come out just outside of the car. Heck yeah. Shine my flashlight around. Any wild Pokemon ready to eat my face? Um, <laughs> using your... Well, yeah, using your previous perception, you shine your light around and it looks like um, there's a lot of rocks. There's like a higher up area, which you're not sure how you would get up there without like severe amount of climbing, but it looks like Roll me another perception, just for fun. Uh, slightly better. Okay. <laughs> um, you see that over here where you just came from, it looks like the tunnel stretches, but then kind of ends because of a rock slide. Uh, this is like the car that you just came from, right? Mm -hmm. um, and you see the entire car, and it's not too damaged, but immediately before, it looks like, um, and you recognize these kind of like slate like rocks because you just saw Sandslash and Machoke get trapped in Rock Tomb. It looks like one <laughs> of these flat wall like slate like rocks essentially slammed down between the two train cars. Oh. Um it's... without he wanted to fuck shit up. <laughs> yeah, so it like it like essentially cut between the two train cars, which is why on the other door you saw nothing but like rubble. Okay. Um so that way it's is kind of blocked. Like, entirely. You can't see the other train car. Um, however, as you shine your flashlight the other way, you do notice that there is, um, first of all, a couple of Zubat, like, fly out away from the light. Because they seem annoyed by it. You just barely notice, mm -hmm. like, their little wings. Um, but aside from that, it looks like the tunnel heads over uh, this way and just kind of continues on the side. Uh, you see the train tracks. Like, the train tracks are still there, so... It's not the direction we need to be heading in, but at least it's the direction we can go. So we'll head that way and uh, try to find our way out. Okay. I mean, once we get out of the tunnel, I guess, can't we just go around? You, I mean, mountains are kind of big. Uh, we, we can. It just might mean staying a few nights out in the wild and, you know, Mom might get worried. <laughs> I would just say, go ahead and roll me a, just a general, like, insight. Just a general insight. Whom? Uh, you, Milo. Milo. General insight check. 21. I would also allow V, but you rolled well enough, so. <laughs> Knowing the strain and, you know, how often you've ridden on it and stuff, you're pretty sure that, like, Something like this would not go unnoticed. This is very unusual, yeah. first of all. Um, Milo, in your experience, like, Pokemon attacking trains is not normal, <laughs> to say the least. You've never heard of it. <laughs> so you're like, first of all, I'm sure that they know that this happened. So it's not unlikely that authorities have already been informed. Um, okay, okay. Then, yeah... I mean, again, I, I I keep coming back to it's probably safer to stay here because it's where they're going to come, but this is also attracting everything. But that's the way we need to go. What do you guys think? Well, personally, I don't really want to have to go, like, all the way back to Saladon. That would take us, like, days. Well, no, no. We'd just get out of the, the tunnel and... But the train's going to be end. stuck in here. How are we going to get back home? 
Do we know of any other routes or paths that we could take? You know that there's other roads that run around. Um, but you also know... Yeah, I, I, I don't have to have you guys roll for this. Um, <laughs> there's other roads. The train is just the fastest way and the newest to get from Celadon to Viridian. Like, it's a brand new train line. It was only built, like, last year, essentially. But there mm -hmm. have always been other roads. Apparently, yeah. Yeah. Onyx do not like it. Yeah, we'll just take the... We'll take the route down and around the mountain back to Pallet, <laughs> and it'll just take a couple days longer. Um, but, you know, he kind of pats his bag. I've got my tent, so we can at least sleep, you know, somewhat comfortably. And... We've got a little bit of money. How long do you think it would take for them to find us here on the train? I mean, if they mobilize now, maybe a day or two? But I don't a even day. know if... Yeah. I don't know if we'd be safe here that whole time. It's it's kind of... There's a lot of things that could go wrong. And <laughs> I don't know which one of them is going to go wrong. Uh... <laughs> So I just just wanted to be. Uh, I'm I'm good with trying. You know, get outside the cave, and maybe once we can see the sky, our phones will work, and we could you know say, hey, we're over here now. Um, we survived. But at the same time, there could be other survivors on the more forward train cars because we were just on, you know, the back of the train, and we just can't get through. So they could have can their you, hands full. Wait, hold on. You have you got that thing that has needles blades on its hands. Can you just dig through the rocks? Uh, maybe. Can we go back in into the train car and try to dig through, like, between the cars? We can always... We can We can certainly try. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah let's screw it. Let's do that. We've got that. We've got Machoke who can punch rocks. Yeah, Fuck that rock. Let's could, go. If we could find some other survivors, it might be better than wandering through a dark cave. <laughs> and we'll make our way to that front car. Okay. Yeah. For sure. Um let me put you back there. Yeah. Head over and as I get to about here. Okay, mm -hmm. so we couldn't get the door open. Could you get Machoke out and see if he could muscle open the door? Because I don't think Definitely. Sand Slash is He's gonna take it through. Me. Yeah. Alright. Uh go, Machoke! All right, you pull my choke out again, and it is. I know you're kind of hurt, but I just need you to open the door. All right. Hold on, let me put my choke back on the menu. <laughs> oh man, my why are these... on the menu. My choke's back in the menu. All right. <laughs> I hadn't even considered using the Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and roll a strength check from a choke. It's like, it's just a rock. Fuck it. Plus, it's like, it's probably a thin rock, because it's just like, jutting out between uh... Should I do a strength check, or the move strength? Oh. No, just do a strength check. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I <laughs> yeah, Machoke begins to pull it open, but it's Machoke versus, like, steel. <laughs> um, and I, mean, looks... I have the same strength modifier as Machoke. Can I help him? <laughs> yeah, you can help him if he can roll again. I mean, I think uh, I got big, you, strong Pokemon will get this kid. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bam! Kid, kid, literally comes up, and actually, it Hell is yeah. between like the strength of the Pokemon and kind of the the trainer itself because you put your hands on the other side of it, and then you kind of look down, and you see on the bottom of the door that there is like a lock essentially that has been jammed in, and you <laughs> just with your foot you kind of put your heel <laughs> under it and like pop it up. At the same time as Machoke pulls, Yeet. and the doors just slam open, and both of you kind of stumble <laughs> back. All right. Oh shit! Well, yeah. Sand slash. Okay. Through that, dig us a path. Okay. Go ahead and roll me a. Oh boy. What was? What move power does Dig use? Is it Dex or uh, is it Strength? It's strength or Dex, either one. Okay. Go ahead and I'd roll probably me. Probably do Strength. Either one, yeah. <laughs> 
All right. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Nice. Excellent. Sandslash starts digging. Um, so Machoke is kind of like standing on the side now. Uh, Sandslash is digging. You can also try to like punch and help. What do you say to get Machoke? Yeah. What do you say to get Machoke to try to help? Uh, <laughs> she's like, hey, I mean, if we can get through this, maybe we can find your owners or at least get you some potions or healing. So oh, please help. Interesting. Roll me a persuasion check. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. Because Machoke glances at you, and you know for a fact that it has understood your words. And as you say that, it kind of glances at Sandslash, and glances at you, and glances at the other door where you guys were just fighting that Onyx, and it does nothing. It suddenly gets very quiet, and is just kind of staring into the distance. Oh man, we don't have those things. <laughs> I mean, if that we could not find your trainers, if that's what you want, roll an inside check for me. <laughs> you kind of get the idea that maybe Machoke that might have been it. What you said about finding mm -hmm. their trainers, Machoke who has been operating okay. under, like, a teamwork, like, oh, no, there's an Onyx, we gotta fight it all together, is now, like, <laughs> slowing down and beginning to think about things. And you hey, don't I know mean, exactly if you wanna be, it, but... If you want to be free after this, if you help us get through this, then sure, go for it. Using your previous role, like, role of the natural 20, Machoke looks at you again kind of glances at Sandslash, who has also at this point slowed down and is looking back up at Machoke. They all just kind of like glance back at the rest of you, share another look. Machoke just kind of huffs and yeah, begins to start punching through the rock. Uh, I think they don't like the train owners. No? No. Sorry, I, I stepped. I had to use the bathroom really quick, so I <laughs> used a little bit of that. I, I lots of bubbly water. We we could just let them like. Yeah. I mean, we got the didn't... Pokeball. We can release them, right? Yeah, I mean, they didn't want to do anything if they were going to get brought back to their trainers. So apparently, they don't want that. Oh well, you know what? Once... Well, now that we've had that kind of revelation, Kid will toss the Polyworld bomb. See if it also wants to go on its own. Throw oh. or Milo will throw Electabuzz out as well. Okay. Electabuzz, who hasn't been part of this conversation, just kind of like pops back out, looks around, mm -hmm. is like, oh, we're in a different place now. <laughs> I didn't want you to feel left out, buddy. Right. And if you guys help us get free and get out to the other side of the tunnel, then you can go wherever you want. Yeah, do, do you, are you guys on the same boat as them? Do you, are you trying to not stay with whatever trainers had you before. Interestingly enough, Polyworld just kind of considers it, kind of furrows its brow as much as Polyworld can. Um, <laughs> glances at Electabuzz, glances up at Machoke, who turns around and begins to essentially like grumble something. And it doesn't sound like it's growling or like arguing. It looks like it's almost like talking or like grunting. Polyworld will. Polyworld gets that same kind of thousand yard stare for a second and then glances <laughs> up at you kid and at the other two and just kind of slowly just like takes a moment to like sit down and just sits down on the floor and begins to think <laughs> we're not gonna force you guys to go back to them if you don't want to yeah. yeah. Mm -mm. I don't care. Partnership. So if, if you're not down with the people that taught you, they're not here now. So if you don't want to, you don't have to. We would have been an Onyx snack without you. So you guys earned whatever freedom you want. 
Kid and Milo, go ahead and roll me uh, persuasion checks and insight checks, whichever one of you can do either one. Uh, I have no persuasion, but I do have insight. <laughs> okay. I have negative persuasion. <laughs> it's 11. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, I would say, kid, because of your past and you having been around a lot of Pokemon, you're kind of beginning to slow down from, you know, that battle and looking at these Pokemon a little bit closely and, like, you noticed right away that this Poliwhirl's old. It looks like it hasn't had the easiest life exactly. Um, and you're also, like, looking at the Electabuzz, who is... It's not like it looks like it's been, like, abused or anything necessarily, but, like, it looks haggard. It looks tired. Um, Machoke seems to be relatively young. Um, but even the Sand Slash, like, it's not in the best condition. You kind of assume that it doesn't get brought out of its Pokeball a lot, because, like, you know what a healthy Sand Slash is supposed to look like, and in order to keep a healthy Sand Slash, they're supposed to have, like... A sand bath every week, at mm -hmm. least, to kind of replenish... And sunlight. Like, yeah, and sunlight. Or, well, not sunlight necessarily, <laughs> but, like, it needs, you know, to have certain things. But you don't think that these guys get brought out of their Pokeballs all that much. Um, as for the persuasion with Milo, it looks like all of the Pokemon are kind of deep in thought, but Sand Slash and Machoke are still digging, and eventually, after about, eh, four minutes... Um, you hear a large crack and a large piece of stone just like falls forward, forming a hole into the, um, not in like the next train car, but kind of like into the in-between area. Yes. So you guys have a, almost a way forward, essentially. Hey, good job, Machoke. Uh, you guys, I mean, keep them out, right? They don't want to go in the Pokeballs. Yeah, I mean, I'm fine. And in case it. we need them again. Mechanically speaking, we can't have all four, but as long as checkups cool, mm -hmm. then I'm fine. <laughs> we it's, can have it's a three. story moment. It's a story moment. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Milo will just put his two extra ones in his bag. Just, if you guys want to stay with us, stay with us. If you think you'll be safe out there and can survive in the caves, go ahead. Um, otherwise, we'll try to I mean, find you some place to go that you'll be happy. Yeah. If we at least get them through the train and like out on the other side of the tunnel I think at least that'll give them space to go yeah. right I mean Sandslash might want to go in the cave but I don't know he might want to stay here Machoke might find this place a good workout but you know it'll be their choice and that's that's what it should be maybe help us off the train first because <laughs> if you guys leave now we're screwed <laughs> Uh, Machoke kind of glances back at you and considers it, nods, and turns back around to kind of widen the gap that they've created in order for all of you to crawl through. Um, right. Slowly, you guys begin to crawl through into the next train cart. However, kid, roll me a pers uh, perception check again. All right. Okay. Hell yeah. Super um, You go through and, like, you, you let your friends, your new friends, go in fr ahead of you. So, like, Sandslash, Machoke, V, and Milo all go. And as you're kind of beginning to get, you glance around and you realize that somewhere during you guys doing all of this and facing forward, Polyworld's just disappeared. Uh oh. I mean, hopefully he wandered off doing his own thing and not got took by something. <laughs> um, Ele uh, like, Electabuzz is still out, and Electabuzz is kind of like glancing at you and then glances towards the open door, like the back open door. Doesn't seem panicked or anything. So you get kind of the sense that Poliwhirl, having a little bit more of like worldly wisdom, just took his chance and took an exit. <laughs> Old Bye. man noked out. <laughs> Fair. Yeah. I'll uh, I'll just toss the elect ele uh, electabuzz pokeball to kid when we see that Polyworld <laughs> isn't here anymore. Dude, can we, can we bust up this Polyworld pokeball so that 
Oh yeah, There's I was no... gonna break break them all. I just don't have a good way to do it right now. I need like a hammer or a big rock. What if you just um, uh, veal open one and then like take it by both sides and pull it backwards on the hinge? Roll me a strength check. <laughs> My specialty. You know what? You do this and you begin to try to break it in that way, which, like, seems like it would work. However, when you open up a sphere, the two sides of the sphere are Uh kind of, like, bumping against each other. And you're (laughs) kind of, like, straining against it. And as you're doing so, you suddenly see a gray hand on your wrist. Not, like, grabbing it or anything, but just kind of touching it. And you look up, and it's Machoke, and he kind of holds out a hand. Oh, yeah. Here. I mean, you're definitely better at that. Machoke just kind of takes it from you, looks down, pauses for a while, and then crushes it. Hell yeah. Sand Slash. Fastball special. (laughs) He's just going to pitch it. And hope that he just slashes it out of the air and breaks it okay. into pieces. Sandslash looks surprised for a split second. <laughs> but suddenly you see that whirl of movement. And the next thing you know, Sandslash is doing like this rapid dash, like uh, rapid spin thing. And you see the Pokeball just like fly apart as it hits. <laughs> and Heck the yeah. Electabuzz Pokeball to Kid, you want to do the honors? And he'll just hand it to Electabuzz and let him discharge it all up. Fuck it up. Alright. Electabuzz takes the Pokeball. It seems like kind of confused for a second. Glances at Machoke and Sandslash. And they both nod. They're kind of grinning and they seem a little bit more relaxed now. And Electabuzz looks down at the Pokeball. And you see it begin to glow brightly like it's being charged up. And this energy cack- like is crackling all through its body. And there's a pause, and then a large, almost clap of thunder-like, and when you all open your eyes and try to, like, blink away that blinding light, you see that the Pokeball has been, like, charred and is now steaming. Hell yeah. Or smoking, Hell, rather. We should, we should break Poliwhirls, too, just so that nobody can ever trap them. Sure. No, we'll just, one of the Pokemon will break yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Unceremoniously <laughs> shatter all of them. Okay. Send it to Machoke. He... he... Did it right. pretty he smooth. had fun with that. Yeah, yeah. he did. Now, yeah, Machoke also does it. And it seems like as you guys do this, and the longer these Pokemon like see you kind of going along with this and not just recalling you back or arguing against it, the like the more relaxed they become. Um and as you do Poliwar's last one, um, and it's crushed, Machoke just kind of kicks the pieces under one of the benches on the train <laughs> and turns around and I'll gives you all like a little thumbs up. <laughs> and then, yeah, you joke. know, continues through the hole, essentially. Yeah. Now, let's see if right, anybody let's else... Let's get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I don't have a map for the next train car. However, <laughs> um, you do go into the next train car, and it looks basically the same as this one. It looks like it's been pretty fucked up by the slam. However, there is one difference, and that is the fact that, despite the fact that it's dark and you all have lanterns, you also see that the emergency lights still work in this car. So it is actually softly lit, and there is, like, a little row. You know how they have emergency lights in planes, where it lights up Mm -hmm. and, like, flashes? Um... You also see on the very back door, above the very back door, like the little ticker tape that had been turned off because your train car had been essentially cut off from the rest of the train. Mm -hmm. Um, There's like a little ticker running along it and it says, uh, move to the front to evacuate. Hell yeah. Perfect. That does seem promising. Okay. And as long as we don't have any more. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Is there any like dead people or blood there are um as you move through you can roll an investigation to like look but as you're kind of hurriedly moving through you don't see any bodies um you do see things scattered everywhere and it looks like um you see a couple of like splatters of blood where somebody may have like followed wrong and like hit their head on a Mm -hmm. table or something but you don't see any massive bleeding or anything um, right, no puddles of blood, no bodies, so that's a good sign. Yeah, no. Um, 
It looks like just everybody kind of evacuated in a hurry, the few people that were here, and you kind of do this, and the next few train cars, like, are less damaged than the ones immediately affected by the one that's spliced over the back two cars. Um, so as you kind of move through, it becomes almost more normal, so to speak. <laughs> um, <laughs> we just got the shit end of it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you got the plotline train car. <laughs> I was going to say, Milo thought we were lucky to have survived that. Now he's thinking it might yeah. not have been luck. <laughs> it's almost like there's a god. <laughs> oh, no. Um, but yeah, you guys move through the train cars, and as you kind of move ahead, you realize that, like, there's no people. And, I mean, it kind of makes sense, um... You guys were battling the Onyx for a while, and it took you a while, and it seems like everybody else... Who knew else... how long we were unconscious? We, we yeah. all got too. slammed around and lost consciousness. Yeah. Um, so there's, like, no people here. No dead bodies, but also no people. So it looks like mm -hmm. they have evacuated ahead of you, but the lights are still on and the evacuation symbols. You finally get to the front of the train, and the doors, like, both side doors are open. Um, and presumably you'll go, you go outside into the tunnel yeah. yeah um you go outside into the tunnel and like the tunnel continues but at this point it's just a regular train tunnel and you know that at the end of this tunnel you know you're basically gonna be at you know very close to viridian yeah. city so if you want to just start walking you can yeah um pretty much yeah do we want to let these guys stay here sandslash you like do you want to stay with the caves you think there are sand shrew and other sand slashes in there that you could? Yeah, sand slash kind of like with? glances around, scratches yeah. the back of its either like, that or there's ear. Mm -hmm. like a forest outside. Yeah. Well, either that or there's a forest plains outside. If you guys want to go there, yep. Um, sand slash will probably do that. Sand slash, as uh, you guys are like kind of standing around in the cave and it looks around, it glances back at you all glances back at Milo and grins at you for a second. Just quietly. Um, Little wave. And then it kind of takes a step back, almost testing to see if you'll do anything else. Takes another step. And then it turns around it just disappears into the darkness. Thanks, buddy. Um, Electabuzz and Machoke kind of watch it go. They don't follow necessarily they just kind of watch for a while and then turn around and probably start walking along after you um Rain okay like it's it's got forests and a big plain area and just maybe like the out of the town because people are kind of eh, <laughs> there but yeah um so yeah, you guys begin to walk, presumably, along the train line. Mm -hmm. um, while we're at it, really quickly, roll me a... Hmm. Everybody roll me a perception check to see if you notice what you notice. Yeah. <laughs> Keep track of Sand Slash's hit points anymore. Okay, I'm actually gonna use Bond Chance for once and reroll okay. that. <laughs> the other ones have just been funny. <laughs> Okay. 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 Milo, I would say with that role, you're—I don't know—it's—it's it's up to you. But I would assume you're kind of lost in thought. That's what I was gonna say. He, I think he's lost in <laughs> thought. I think he's—he's he's just contemplative. Yeah. yeah. Um, v, you are kind of looking around. You're noticing a lot of things. Um, this cave is interesting. Um, actually, I have a cave. Hold on. Where's my cave? Where's my cave? There it is. It's my cave. Um, my cave. You're kind of walking through this cave, and obviously there's like a train track that runs alongside mm -hmm. it, but you're noticing that like there's uh, a couple of other entrances and exits that kind of spiral through. So obviously you're walking through the main tunnel that has been put here by humans, but you also see a little offshoots, like a little hole here and there where you can see a couple of like Zubat hanging upside down, watching you guys pass. Um, They're so cute. Yeah. Um, they don't. They're noisy, though. They are noisy. Yeah. Every time you like come by with your lights, you hear just <laughs> and like you know, I, I can't do the mosquito tone. Right yeah. Now. Unfortunately, Discord doesn't <laughs> pick up the. It's like the monster sounds. Yeah. Um, but 
yeah, you you kind of notice that there is quite a lot of life in these tunnels. Um, to go off of that with Kit's role, Kid, you're a little bit more used to looking for these kind of things. Which is why, as you guys walk past, you realize that you're walking past what looks to have been like a a sealed tunnel, essentially. And you're like, oh, maybe this is a uh, service tunnel for the train. And you kind of step off to the side and glance at it, and you realize that actually, no, this was this was natural at some point, but it has been filled with uh, rocks and like metal plating, but it's now coming apart. And as you kind of glance to the side, you realize that there's actually like a side tunnel and you could potentially peek into it. Um, it's relatively large. In fact, if you are correct about your poke knowledge, this is like mm -hmm. a tunnel that is naturally dug by Onyx. Hmm. Huh. It kind of he'll kind of point out the tunnel and mention that it lines up pretty well with like an onyx burrow. So do you think they built through where the onyx were nesting? Probably. Just, yeah. Whatever. That's the easiest way to get through. That's where they usually go. Yeah. And that kind of explains why he was so upset. Well, we're in his house, technically. Do we want to go through there and check out the cave, or just keep following the tracks? Uh, I, I mean, we had a time with that one onyx. I don't know if we want to go find more. Yeah, Machoke took a beat, man. We, hey, yeah, they he, won't he, a lot for us. I don't, I don't want to put him at risk. I love. Don't get me wrong. My adventurous instinct is telling me to dive face first right. into the pool, but <laughs> I don't want to put these guys at risk when we literally just, you know, kind of remove their shackles, so to speak. Yeah. For funsies, uh, for Electabuzz and Macho, can you guys both roll me insight checks on them or wisdom checks? Mm -hmm. Macho. <laughs> I don't know if anybody has a left buses. Uh, oh shit, that's right. I never cheat. signed it to you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's my bad. Because you didn't choose it at the onset, so I never actually got it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do, 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 Wisdom. Wow, that's a 20. Um, uh, hell yeah. Uh, Why is Electabuzz, uh, Macho kind of glances at this little side tunnel that's been sealed up, looks, squints at the hole, but doesn't seem super interested. Electabuzz goes up to it as Kid is inspecting it, and actually, like, kind of leans forward and sniffs the air, and immediately its expression changes. And it's... Hmm. Kid, roll me an insight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, that's good. Um, it's not an expression of fear. It's a grimace, and the closest human equivalent would be kind of, like, grief. Oh, uh, did, did something get sealed up in here and couldn't get out? Can I smell? Does it smell like something died in there? You lean forward and smell and... To your human nose, honestly, it doesn't... You can't smell anything. It just smells like dirt. And minerals. <laughs> hmm. I mean, do we... If, if the railroad company built a track through an onyx nest that caused the local wildlife to be harmed this badly, shouldn't they be held accountable? Sure. Plenty of people should be held accountable, but I don't think they will be. I mean, the thing we—I mean, do you have a camera or something? Does this? Does my phone take pictures? Yeah. We no, could go in there, try to take some pictures, 
and like send them to the media. Yeah. I think I'd feel better if we did that. Sure. Because if we can't hold them accountable, at least the press will. Yeah. Just so yeah, we can people know try what's to happening. go in there. Okay. See, I'm sure that they're going to spin this as some more wild oh, yeah. Pokemon attack, you know? And if they yeah, brought this on the themselves honor. by not doing the research and, you know, trying to live, then they... Yeah. Okay. And he'll kind of, like, stand up a little taller again. Let's go check it out. Okay. Um, who would be? I guess who's who's trying to climb in there first? With none of his, with no Pokemon <laughs> at his at his hip, Milo will go in first. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. Machoke and Machoke and Electabuzz are gonna stay out for this one. They seem to have no interest in going in there. So you yeah. guys are you know just kind of spirit heading this fight. Um, Milo, right. you, you go through first. Go ahead and roll me a perception check first. <laughs> okay. Wow. I am not ruling very well. <laughs> no, you you squeeze yourself through, and there's enough room for one person, so you kind of squeeze yourself through. Uh, you step out. It seems to be not, like, so much as a tunnel as, like, a chamber. It's almost like a circular chamber. And you look around, and you don't really see anything specific it seems oddly circular but aside from that like there's nothing there's just like a few boulders scattered around and yeah. do i see anything like like i know pokemon tend to hatch from eggs in the game mm -hmm. i'm not sure if onyx hatch from eggs but do i see <laughs> anything that would indicate this to be some sort of like nest Roll me a Poke Knowledge check or Arcana. Poke Knowledge. It's eleven. Okay. <laughs> um, you go up to like the wall and try to look around for eggs. Glancing about. Shells. Yeah, you you don't see any shells, uh, at least for now. Um, meanwhile, who's going in next after Milo, if anybody is? Or is it just Milo? Uh, no, V will go in there too. Okay. Go ahead and roll me a perception check as well. He, he takes a couple pictures of like the tunnel and then the boarded up like hole that it was like broken through and then tries to go through the tunnel. Ah, perception. Okay. Yeah, you go in and you see the same thing. You see Milo crouch down near a wall, kind of like, like inspecting the floor, looking for something. Um, you also notice that it's very circular. You go over to um, where Milo is and you don't see any shells, but like you do find a really round looking rock. Can I pick it up and look at it? Yeah, you can just appears honestly it's like it's rough it's rough around the edges um it looks to be vaguely circle shaped but like it could just be a very well shaped boulder um and for the sake of not keeping anybody out kid if you'd like to roll me a perception check as well because i'm presuming you're also going in there <laughs> he, he definitely would yep. oh yeah okay uh, yeah you get in there um and you're also kind of like glancing around uh, you know what an, you know, you obviously recognized an onyx previously, so you know that this is probably a nest, just like Milo is discerned. Um, but you're kind of glancing around, and you and Milo both look at V, who's inspecting this, and at the same time, I think both of you are like, yeah, this is probably an onyx egg. Or at least it was an onyx egg. It looks yeah. like... It never hatched. Hmm. Well, V will take a take a bunch of pictures of the room and, like I said, like the outside of where they had the tunnel blocked off and the tracks and stuff. And then I'll take the egg with us, and we can give it to the local media. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Um. Well, in that case, you uh, take a bunch of pictures, you go back out into the tunnel, and you continue walking. 
I'd say you only, I'd say you only have to walk for about another 20 minutes before there is light shining ahead of you that you know is the exit to the tunnel. And the closer you get, the more you realize that it's not only natural light, it's also like flashing lights. Mm -hmm. There are police cars and even like you think you hear a helicopter in the background. <laughs> um, we should <laughs> probably let Machoke and like the buzz... If we bring them out there with the police, the police are just going to return them to their... And we can't let that happen. Yeah, you look around and, yeah, Electabuzz and Machoke are both kind of, like, standing a little further back, also looking at it, and they just kind of share a look and begin to slowly back away into the tunnel. Yeah, I mean, hey, you guys go... Hide yourselves in the tunnels. Uh, I'm sure it'll be free at some point. Just wait for the heat to die down a little bit and then you can yeah. just walk. They, they both nod at you. Like, glance around. And almost wistfully like, turn around and begin to essentially jog back <laughs> the way you came. And it takes only Thank about... You guys. Man, it takes only about 30 seconds before you can't really even see them anymore. Okay. 